Hi guys, my name is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. I have to say my name because like you guys probably forgot it's been so long since I uploaded a video. It's been three weeks, three weeks since I uploaded a video, but it's been four months since I uploaded a makeup video. Like I don't even know anymore. Like where was I? Who am I? I apologize. But anyways, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I actually posted on Instagram yesterday about what you guys would like to see. Um, and I got a lot of different responses, so thank you for submitting responses. Um, a lot of the stuff was like actually like really interesting topics, so I will take some of your suggestions and do them. But um, a few suggestions were to do a get ready with me to like catch up and stuff like that and since it's been quite a while. And today I actually wanted to try like e-girl, like TikTok, kind of like, not visco girl, but like TikTok e-girl kind of like makeup look just because like i've been obsessed with watching like tiktok compilations lately like i didn't think i'd be so into it but it just happened i don't know it was i don't even use tiktok but like i was watching compilations from facebook i digress let's move on let's actually get ready and yeah i hope this video isn't too long i will cut myself out if i need to but my hair has gotten actually quite long since the last video and it's a mess so don't mind that we're gonna like fix it together later um first of all <laughs> um i wanted to show you guys this look what happened to my poor foundation as you can see like the fenty foundation usually comes in a pump but unfortunately something happened i don't know what happened actually the pump like broke or something and i had to take a like eyedropper top and just put that on instead this is actually from the ordinary and i like finished one of their products so that's what i have on it so how have you been lately have you been well um if you're in school how is school hope it's not too bad i hope that if you are in person school that you're safe and you're well if you're doing online school good luck i never really like teaching myself online and i said teaching myself because like honestly like learning online is a lot of teaching yourself like if you watch pre-recorded lectures or whatever um but yeah my whole degree i basically taught myself anyways not gonna go into that but <laughs> it's been so long doing my makeup in front of the camera i'm like how do i do this like should i sit closer like you say guys i actually see hello um my skin has been like okay um it's the usual you know like my freckles my red nose but like i'm not breaking out that's always a win right anyway so we're just gonna take some of doot doot. and this is just how i've been like doing my makeup lately so again i like a little bit of foundation i mean this is quite a bit just kidding it's not that little um just a little bit of foundation and then i'm using my real techniques real expert face brush or expert face brush um just blending that out i don't really use a sponge because i'm lazy haha <laughs> like my laziness is like always the number one thing that like drives my foundation or like my makeup routine actually i'm just a lazy person but i'm excited to do this i never tried this kind of makeup before i mean i did i normally don't really wear a heavy makeup on a day-to-day -day basis so, like if i wear makeup um i'm trying to go for like that own natural look makes you look younger if you wear less makeup anyways and like 26 not like i'm old but i'm just saying like i like to look young here's the thing like i want to make a separate video i probably will make a separate video but like my current situation of like my k-pop collection or whatever and how i'm trying to get like get rid of it not all of it but like the stuff i think i don't really need um because again i told you guys like earlier this year i'm not doing any more hauls and trying to do less unboxings and like you know i said that while i bought like so many albums anyways um it's because like i'm planning on getting a house next year so like i have to save my money you know financial things just financial things okay, that's enough for my foundation moving on um, to concealer so my fenty foundation is in the shade 140 and we're moving on to concealer this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the color what the heck is it again it's in the color medium peach 
and yeah I've been only using this one and my and the sem tip concealer this one like these are literally the only two concealers I use nowadays I don't really care about my old like concealers that much anymore like you know how I used to always rave about the what's it called again the Maybelline age rewind or whatever that stuff to me is like meh now like and i've been applying my concealer around my eyes differently so i've just been placing in the corners and then like that's it like i don't concentrate a lot here because i'm just gonna blend it out anyways and um that's where i need the most coverage is like where i have like redness in the corners of my eyes and then like the inside here to kind of highlight it to like brighten up this area and then if i always have like leftover concealer i'll like dab some on my eyelid to like even out the color because i have veins on my eyelids so like yeah and leftover i kind of dot around my nose and my chin where i have redness and if i have any more in the center like in between my brows because again i get red there like i just use one brush for everything i know i should be using a smaller brush because i should be more delicate around my eye area but like i'm so lazy you guys because we're doing like the tiktok like e-girl kind of like makeup like we're not gonna powder much because you want that dewy look you don't want that like heavy heavy makeup look and so i'm using charlotte tilbury's like what's it called again i keep forgetting the name of this it is the airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in number one fair and just i'm putting this just around my eyes and on my nose and my chin i'm gonna be using two things for my brows so i'm gonna be using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duel in Granite and then I'm going to be using this like the Sim Equal Soul Power Proof Mega Slim Brow um, I don't remember what color, it's in a number color 3 so basically what I'm doing is I think these like e-girls, these cute little e-girls, like, I think they're so freaking cute like ugh, anyways where they're gonna fill like their brows much thicker and a little bit straighter um, I mean, that's kind of like how I do my brows, but sometimes I like to give myself a little bit of an arch. But we're going to make them nice and thick and full and youthful. Sorry, my gear in my mirror. But like make them super cute and youthful. Here's the thing. E-girls and TikTok girls are not synonymous. <laughs> um, so I mean like I'm leaning towards more of like the e-girl look because a lot of TikTok girls are very natural and super pretty and cute. And so like they don't really do a lot of makeup but i'm trying to guess i'm going for like that e-girl look instead i guess i'm gonna make it super dark and super full if you can tell like i accidentally shaved off more of this eyebrow than this one so i'm like i kind of look a little funky okay they kind of look blocky so i'm gonna take my spoolie and just like brush that out i look so like an angry bird oh my god oh my god okay i'm just gonna take a little bit of this like brow pencil i'm just gonna draw like just to thicken up because i want really full brows like we want it full and bushy but you also kind of want like defined i don't even know man i don't want to spend like five minutes just doing my brows like i don't know some people have whole brow routines where they like put concealer for no that's like too glam i'm not into that like no thank you i don't think these e-girls are doing that either okay right, here comes the fun part which i'm super excited for um, this is the blush part, so I'm taking two blush brushes just in case. I don't know how the frick I'm gonna do this. And I think this is the right color I should go for. Like, Your Love is King from Too Faced. It's a super cute heart blush because we're doing like the, like, I'm like, I have a fever. Like, do you remember playing Mabel Story? And what is that blush called again? Was it like fever or like sick, sickly? I can't remember what the frick it's called. If I can remember, I will put it right here. But taking this small blush brush, we're gonna like do that thing like all over. I This is my first time doing this, so I'm like kind of nervous because like normally I do put some blush across my nose, but it's very gentle, very light. You don't see like a distinct. Basically, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like I'm talking about the queen of TikTok, Bella Porch. Like I'm going for her look. So if you guys don't know what she looks like, this is her. She's so freaking cute. So the goal of like TikTok or e-girls is to make their faces super cute and super round and like useful. Okay, so that's what I'm doing today. When you make this look, my face is already quite round and dark, so like I don't need to do this. But if you have a really long face, when you put like a lot of blush towards the center, it kind of shortens your face because you're focusing 
all that blush in the center. It's like distraction method, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Okay, hold up, hold up. I need my mirror like right in front of me. Let's put a lot. Like on camera, you guys probably can't see anything, but like I'm gonna be putting a lot. So that's, oh shoot. Oh my god. Oh. I have my second blush brush to blend it all out because this looks like, what the frick, man. We're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna take my bigger blush brush and kind of like do that, but like circular motion. We're gonna blend it out. I hate defined lines like on my blush. <laughs> Clownery. I think I've technically done this before for my dear makeup look. I did one before, but I put like speckles all on top of it. So like it was distracting from it, I guess. Um, let's put some more towards the outer part of my face. Maybe I should take a smaller brush. Brush. Blush brush. I hate saying that. Two times fast. Can you see that two times fast? Three times fast? Blush brush 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 brush. No. Oh my god, so cute. I would never wear this look out. Not really. But like, it's super cute. You look like... I guess that the look that these e-girls are going for are like anime, you know? Like... Who doesn't want to look like a cute little anime girl? Sunburnt or allergic reaction? Can you tell? Oh my god, love it. Love it. Do I need bronzer? No, I need highlighter though. Haha. <laughs> I think that's it for now. Like, if I want to add more, actually, I'm going to just add a little bit more. More is more. More is more. It look, it'll look better on camera too. We're going to go for two different highlighters because it's extra. You need the extra. We're gonna go for two highlighters. We have one that's a little bit more bronzy based and one that's more pearlescent, like bright based. Um, the reason is because we want something on the cheeks that's gonna stand out, but not too much. I don't want it to be like a light bulb. I just want it to be natural. All right, so we're gonna take my highlighting brush in this one. This is the, I always use this one. You guys know this one. This is the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals. This one's gonna go right here. So you get a little bit of a glow. So that one goes right there in between the brows a little bit and above. And this one goes on the chin as well. Just cause it rounds out the entire face. I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer later to kind of like slim up my face a little bit. And then we're gonna take my finger with this one right here. This one is the Makeup Revolution in Radiant Lights. It's the baked highlighter. And we're gonna put this on my finger cause we're gonna make a cute little button nose do you see that it just makes your nose like so much more buttony and cute because if you would want your nose to look buttony you can't just use highlighter you gotta use a little bit of like bronzing powder or not bronzing powder like a contour powder so i'm gonna take some and i'm gonna like make my nose super like slim i guess basically you want to look dolly but not too perfect, right? You want to look a little imperfect. Slimming my nose down. So putting some underneath my nose to kind of like lift it up a little bit. I'm going to take some shading powder from Can Make. This is in Danish brown. It's going to just slim up my face a little bit. Give me some color. We don't want to look too pale. Right here, like I want to round out my chin a little bit, not make it too sharp. For eye makeup wise, I'm gonna go in with the palette that I've been using a lot lately, which is this old palette that my sister gave me. This is from Tarte. This is the Tartlet Tees. Basically, it's this palette that's brown toned um, and it's super versatile because you can use it for every day. Um, and it matches like almost everyone. Like browns look good on literally almost everyone. And basically, I'm just gonna take like these two colors here on my eyelid. And I'm just gonna just darken my lid just a little bit just to give my eyes some definition because um, Here's the thing. Do you see this is brown? This is nothing. This is brown. This is nothing It just gives your eyes a little something a little character, right? Um, you don't have to put a lot on honestly like a lot of e-girls don't wear that much makeup I think or like they do but it doesn't look like it or at least the e-girls that I like and follow the trick is because these e-girls have a lot of like guy fans they they know because no offense like some guys are dumb no offense they don't know anything about makeup and they're not dumb they're just uneducated about makeup right um they see uh, like a red lip they're like oh my god instant like 
she's wearing makeup a lot of makeup and it's like this girl could be wearing like thick layer of foundation done everything but not wearing a red lip they're like oh my god they're so natural and they're so cute and like so all this stuff you know you gotta like <laughs> cater to your audience you know good for them get their coin girl and if you really want to be a little extra because i always like to be a little bit extra you can take the darker colors and then just put it on the outer corner just mixing them both and just deepening the outer corner just a smidge i say this like as a tutorial this is literally just get ready with me i don't know why i treat everything like a tutorial it's not a tutorial like this is a get ready with me i'm supposed to just be talking to you guys but like i'm not really talking to you guys i was thinking about like maybe making a twitch but at that same time it's like i don't know how the frick twitch works um and I don't even know like what would play, like what would people be interested in. And like I just like talking, but like not really. So anyways, let us move on to the fun part, which is I'm just going to curl my eyelashes because today I'm going to be doing something different. I rarely wear falsies, but today I'm going to be wearing falsies because e-girls wear like not wear falsies but they have eyelash extensions or something like that so we're gonna make my eyelashes look full because they don't wear a lot of eyeliner or at least the ones that i like don't wear a lot of eyeliner curl curl upper and then i like to curl my lower lashes always but like again that's optional who even cares like if you don't want to curl your eyelashes don't even have to um but i like to curl them because it makes my eyes look a little bit more bigger and everything i forgot if I'm an e-girl, don't I have to wear contacts? Hold up, I'm gonna wear some contacts. Which one should I wear? Should I wear something natural or should I wear something like stand out? You know what, I'm gonna wear something stand out because like this one right here is OMG Kristen. Um, OMG Kristen in the color gray, I believe. They are daily, so I can just like wear them once and I can chuck them out. I should have done this in the beginning. I realized I didn't and like... Oops. Good thing I remembered these before I put on false eyelashes because these would be a biatch to put on after false eyelashes. I will link these contacts in my description box and I do have a code so if you want to use the code it's nanancy10. You guys can use that you guys because they have 10% off. Haha <laughs> not sponsored but they do pay me if you use my affiliate link so. All right we're gonna put on some eyeliner like on the upper waterline. I have an eyelash on my cheek get away um we're gonna go up here because we're gonna go a little not we're well, not a little natural we're making it a little bit natural because we're not like putting on like huge amounts of eyeliner like as in like a big cat eye um but we are gonna flick our eyeliner just a little bit and this is just going to thicken up your eyelashes or the look of your eyelashes and we're gonna take a little bit of black liquid eyeliner this is dolly winks in the like the darkest dark i can't remember what it's called again this red version there's like a pink version which is a regular version and then there's this one which is like the blackest black and then we're just going to be careful i'm gonna go a little closer so you guys can see oh i have a little pimple here can you see that it's not really a pimple it's like it's a pimple <laughs> they're just kidding um i'm just gonna go oh like a little flick a little flick like that do you see that like that and then just bring it in just a little bit and then same for this side like that is it even it's not even this one's way too long so i'm bringing the eyeliner just in just a little bit more i don't know if you guys noticed but like this eyelid is much bigger than this one so i like to make this eyeliner on this side just a little bit go in a little bit more just to like shorten my eyelid a little bit to even it out and i like to make this eyeliner just slightly thicker than this side it's okay if your eyelids look different it's like your boobs your boobs are never the same size and your eyelids will never be the same size it's okay sometimes you have a monolid and a double lid and sometimes you have a double lid and a triple lid and that's okay just applying a gentle not a gentle a, not a generous either oh my god what was i trying to say a light amount of mascara mascara i just said mascara not mascara i'm so freaking fancy mascara all right so the eyelashes that i have here they are the kiss looks so natural um and the what is it again <laughs> it's on the box oh my god it's right here it's called the flirty lash in the tapered it's like tapered at the ends and they're like double stacked 
they are so freaking pretty and natural looking but they're quite big so i might have to trim them so a little too long i feel like it's a little bit too long i'm going to just trim the ends a little bit then let's do boot come on come on come on there we go i'll do this side first i don't know my left eye you're right my left um Let's apply a generous amount and I have to be patient because every time I do this, I'm impatient and I don't wait for the lash glue to become tacky and I just put it on and then that's where the disaster happens. So um, let's be a little patient. We'll count to 15 or whatever. Is it 20 seconds or 15 seconds? Let's be on the safe side. Let's do 20 seconds. 11, 12, 13. And basically you just have to wait for it to become clear, right? 14, 15, all right, I'm nervous. Every time I apply this, I get it freaking wrong. Okay, I got it on right, but like the corner freaking came off. So cannot be an ABG or an e-girl because like clearly this is not, that's not it. it. Looks weird. Like I'm not used to myself wearing like false eyelashes. Okay, I'm gonna like draw some eyeliner to like blend it in because it looks so unnatural okay i think we have two steps left with the makeup we're gonna have to put some highlight in the inner corners of our eyes um i'm gonna take this fenty diamond balm in how many carrots and put that in the corners of my eyes you have to have something like this um to give yourself like eye-catching look a little bit of like you know wide-eyed bright-eyed that's the look you always want to go for i have to go into my purse to grab this one um this is something that this brand from something sweet sent me so this is from the brand necker it's some, a brand that something sweet made it's the sister brand of chew obviously what i'm wearing right now i just love chew i'm not sponsored by chew i wish i was think okay chew hit me up sponsor me please because this is what i've noticed like everyone wears a nude lip you gotta have a nude lip so we're gonna do a nude lip so i'm gonna take velvet teddy from mac and make sure you don't have any lip crusties hold up and it's a nude pinky color so you're gonna put that all over you have to remember when you're doing this look you want to make sure your lips are big that's the most important <laughs> so you know how i have a cupid's bow we're kind of going to just almost erase a cupid's bow a little bit right here make round it out so you can look like you have fuller lips and then you're gonna overline just a little bit and then i'm gonna take this color um, which is sponge beige and this is like a very soft creamy um, formula I'm just gonna like dot this on the middle it almost matches this color from MAC actually but it's a little bit more pinky than brownie and this is not as matte, so that's why I'm putting on top because I don't want my lips to be completely matte. And then at last, we have to just blot it a little bit. Okay, so I think for my hair, I'm really lazy right now. So I'm just going to just take two ponytail holders or hair ties, split my hair in the middle. I'm going to just pull some hair out from the front. Same with the other side. And loosen top of my hair a little bit <laughs> not too much i think i've evened it out a little bit it looks kind of funny still but like i don't really care right now because like i've been filming this for a while and like i'm tired of like fixing my hair like you know the perpetual struggle of this hair length this hair length is like the death of me <laughs> i swear to god it's like once it's short it's fine but if it's like middle it's kind of like it bends a certain way and then when it's long it's fine because it doesn't really bend that way anymore because it's so long it like strains itself out um anyways so i think that's it for my hair i like curled these pieces inwards and then 
these i'm just gonna just make sure they don't stick out so much okay so i think this is the end of this video um i'm so sorry that it wasn't as chatty as i thought it was going to be um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it um that's it i actually am gonna film something a little after this it's just like a little chill chatting video hopefully and um i'm not mad about this look it's just i don't like wearing falsies that's the only thing like maybe i could wear this look more often if i don't have to deal with these stupid freaking things anyways um <laughs> uh actually kind of i'm like wanting to film like a tiktok after this just to see like if i do i'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can see what it looks like i don't know anyways i will talk to you guys in my next video have a good day and i'll see you guys next time bye oh hi i just want to remind you to drink your fucking water today mm -hmm.